Welcome back everyone. Every year I try to make a video like this basically talking about some of the best ways you can go ahead and sell your iPhone. And in 2021, there are a couple of ways that I would probably recommend, but some ways that have also changed. Now these are specifically for iPhones. I will make a separate video for Androids. They share a lot of similarities, but obviously there's the first one that's completely different. And I do think the easiest way you can go ahead and sell your iPhone is, you know, pretty much an Apple trade-in. So what this looks like is essentially, let's say you wanna go ahead and you have an iPhone 7 or something like that, and you are planning on upgrading, you wanna buy an iPhone 12 or 12 Pro or 11 or whatever iPhones they still sell. Well, instead of selling your iPhone to, you know, another method, you can just trade it into Apple. And this is the easiest way you can do it because you can just take your iPhone straight into Apple as long as it powers on and as long as it's not stolen or anything, you will be able to basically get a trade in value that's actually pretty decent. And Apple actually went ahead and increased the resale value or the trade in value for a couple of iPhones that they actually accepted, which are older. So I think that's really cool. This specific method definitely doesn't bring in the most amount of money. But it is one of those ways that, you know, if you want to go ahead and not have to worry about it, don't you don't want the headache or anything to like package your phone and sell it and all that stuff. You can even bring your iPhone to the Apple store instead of shipping it off and they'll just inspect it there and you can go ahead and get a trade in. It's really not that bad. I've done this once before. It was a very, very easy process. It's not like they like inspect it and like embarrass you if it doesn't work. Like they just see if it turns on. That's literally it. So that is really one of my favorite ways. It's the easiest method, in my opinion, to sell your iPhone. Okay, if you want the Apple trade-in, again, it's a trade-in value. So you're not getting cash, but it will go towards another purchase of like an iPhone or an iPad or MacBook, whatever the case is. Now, the next thing, in my opinion, this is going to net you more money like actual cash rather than a trade-in value and it's the most secure method out of the three methods that i'm going to hit on so the first method was the easiest which was the apple trade-in this method brings you more money and it's probably more secure than the next method but it's not as secure as the easiest method which is the apple trade-in and this is selling it on ebay i really do think that ebay has a much stronger like image nowadays than probably like four or five years ago. Four or five years ago, there was a lot of scams, a lot of crazy stuff going on with, you know, selling things on eBay. But now eBay has gotten so much better and they even have like so many bots in place that if they even detect that you're like listing or if you're somebody selling a fake iPhone or whatever, or even if somebody bids on your iPhone or buys your iPhone and they suspect that it's a bot account, they won't allow them to purchase it. So I think those things are cool. I'm glad to have those things in place. I, like I mentioned, I don't really sell anything anymore, but when I used to, eBay would be my spot. You tend to get the most amount of money, in my opinion, having the auctions. The buy it nows are good too if you want to just sell it as quickly as possible, but the auction, setting them to like like three to five days always net you a lot more money and this is a really good method if you're comfortable with shipping your device and you know talking to people every once in a while through like messaging and stuff like that then you'll pretty much have a really good time with ebay but like i mentioned if you're somebody who just doesn't want to interact with people you don't want to make it a business you just want to sell your iphone and move on this method is kind of 50 50 so you're going to have to talk to the people you're going to have to ship them the phone and then you're going to have to wait like a few days until they get it and then they may leave a good feedback bad feedback they may even message you back and say hey this thing doesn't work it doesn't work properly i want a refund so it is a little bit more of a headache but again with ebay they're kind of the middlemen it's a little bit more secure so a majority of the time as long as the buyers are nice and they have good feedback then for a majority of the time, you'll pretty much be set. I've had very few issues with eBay in the last two to three years. Like I mentioned, four or five years ago, there were a lot more issues. But within the last two, three years, it's been good. And I, like I said, I don't sell anything on eBay anymore. But the last thing I sold was probably like two years ago, and I had a pretty good experience with it. So I will tell you, though, I buy so many things on eBay, and there's a humongous amount of people there. Like for the amount of people there are there, there's just not enough phones. So if you want a humongous demographic of people, eBay is a humongous place to go for sure. Now, the last place, this isn't the last place in general, but the last place I would probably recommend. This, in my opinion, will net you the most amount of money. So more than at the Apple trade-in, more than eBay, but it's the least secure method out of all of these. So it's two ways, either Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. So what I've seen, this is probably the best way to go ahead. If you want the most amount of money with the least amount of security, this is the best way to go. First of all, you essentially just, it's just like Craigslist. Facebook Marketplace is the Craigslist for Facebook. And I love Facebook Marketplace. Essentially, you go ahead, take your photos of your phone, put them up there, put them for the price. 
And people are going to DM you, they're going to message you, they're going to use your Facebook profile to message you. So if you're not comfortable with that, then obviously use Craigslist or something. And especially now because of COVID and everything, like I don't know how comfortable people are with meeting other people. So that's why this one is the least secure method. But again, if you're trying to sell your phone, this is another option that you have. eBay is probably the safest. The Apple trade and I think is the best one. But if you want the most amount of money, this is the way to go. You don't have to worry about shipping fees or PayPal taking money or eBay taking money or Apple's low trade in value. You can just literally just meet up with somebody, sell it to them. The problem though is, you know, obviously less security. So if something happens, you know, it's all your fault. But on top of that, you would hate to be in a situation where you sell something to somebody and for some reason they don't like it or, you know, whatever the case is and you have to meet up with them again to exchange their money back. And it's just like a headache. But if you're comfortable with that, if you have a good product, if you have like an iPhone 12 and you don't really, you didn't steal it or anything, then you're going to be perfectly set. But again, you can be situations where you might get ripped off. You know, you're just going to have to, you know, be super secure about it. So with that being said, that would be the one I would recommend the least. I would probably recommend the Apple trade in the most. I feel like that is my favorite way to, you know, just trade in a phone and getting the value back. That is the easiest thing. Most of the time, most people are selling their iPhone anyway, just to go ahead and buy another iPhone. If you have a bunch of iPhones just sitting there in just like your drawer or something like that, you can trade in those iPhones to Apple and then exchange that for another, you know, phone. And I think that is another, I, I think that is the strongest one. One here it's the easiest most secure you get less money from it but it, it just kind of rolls over to another purchase so you don't have to worry about waiting for money or putting the money in your bank account and all that stuff it just goes towards the purchase so there is some pros to that and i do think that is the one i would probably recommend the most to people now if you want the most amount of money with the least amount of security again facebook marketplace is the best way to go but i think a good middle ground between these two is ebay you know e either ebay i think amazon you can sell them to that there. But I think with eBay, you're getting more money, you're getting more security than an Apple trade-in. You're, get, you're getting more money than an Apple trade-in, and you're getting more security than a Facebook Marketplace trade-in. And as long as you can talk to people, conversate, and know how to ship a product out and all that stuff, then you'll be perfectly fine with eBay. You know, it's definitely not an easy thing. It's a hard thing for sure. But as long as you're not selling, you know, fake phones or a phone that doesn't work, then you'll be perfectly fine. But if you're trying to like swindle a phone that like doesn't work, then obviously none of these are going to work. You may get through with an Apple trade-in, but other than that, I would highly recommend doing an Apple trade-in for the easiest method. The more money, eBay, the most money with the least security, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Those are kind of how I would kind of sum it up there. So if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, I'll sell up every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.